the first time was absolutely perfect. <laughs> huh? Really, bravo. And you got a lot of space, a lot of breathing. You was waiting. Bravissimo. This is the sense of this music. So what I'm telling you, when you repeat, change completely. Eh? Do what, you know what I prepared this kind of music, how I prepared at that time, when I decided to play this one or Koyumba or Hendrix. I thought, okay, I don't decide anything. I let the moment when I will be on the stage, I will let to the moment to tell me what to do on that moment, on that relative moment. Whenever we decide something here, it sounds a little bit artificial and does not work very well. For example, on the variation where you decide to do this, Bellissima idea, bravo, top, first class. Why not, when you repeat, do not use that one? So the first one you can... And then... Whatever. And then again. Huh? And then maybe when you arrive, uh, just... A... Here, then you don't do it anymore, or maybe, and here. You know, question and answer, no? Something like that, for example. Eh? So, from a beautiful idea, which you got it, then you even put even more ideas. So, first time, Pizzicato, second time, open. Second section, pizzicato and open strings. So it makes even more atmosphere because this is just an atmosphere, this piece, right? Yeah. <laughs> first variation. No, 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 first I want to tell you, in each variation there is this part. Okay? This one. And then, and then, okay. When I played, I got the feeling that those should be, you know, like a director of movie. When he put on the screen, I remember a picture and then it's black. And then another picture and then it's black. And then another one. So can be like a really, Then change. And then. And then. For example, huh? the first variation, um, uh, Matei. I'm speaking a lot. If you have any question, please stop me. I'm doing like this in order to use our time in the best way, you know, to try yeah. to tell you everything I can. So you can sign, you can whatever. First variation, I, sh I would play even more with freedom without any kind of uh, rhythmical sense. I don't know, like... waves huh? because then just a moment where is it uh, also in the first variation what we say
Something like that, you know, magic, atmosphere, only atmosphere. Second variation was so good. Third one was amazing, perfecto. Because if we are so free, then we need really... And I would start the third variation really in piano. Tempo, fast, ritmo, but piano. I'm sorry, I, I, I don't play this piece since, I don't know, 20 years, but I try like something which comes from far away. And then, so, and now, Okay. Yeah. Second section. You continue with forte. And now, what we said on the beginning. Sorry. The fourth variation is really like when someone pray. Really intimate. Really deep and like suffering. And I guess that on the fourth variation, of course, the line but the meeting of the two voices, it's so nice. So, and also, both of them are so important here. And then change. Congratulations for the fifth variation, because normally when someone play for me this piece, the first, the fifth variation, they play it like the third one, in tempo, like, and you did it. You was faster, but free, with freedom. You did it something like... Bravissimo, bravo, great, bravo. You know, you have something which I guess it's not possible to learn or to practice or to teach, which is the duende. And the Spanish South of American use this word, duende. Duende is something that you have inside or you don't have. Huh? And what I got from your playing is that you have that. Bravo. Continue. Continue on this way. Yes. Now, finale. Absolutely in tempo. No question here. The tempo as you did it. Eh? I guess that it was just a little bit, a little bit too fast. I guess that it's uh, the great tempo. <laughs> Okay. 
yeah, this is the, I guess, the tempo, the right tempo, sorry. Okay. Allora, now. Okay. In the finale, one, two, three, the fourth line, fourth line, third bar. I would make more intensive this line. I like that. Huh? Mm. And before the last, uh, I would play with staccato, like. So the result will be. Each time the fifth line, third bar, each time we're like a syncope, I would put more accent on the second one, huh? like a. So when the syncope on the second, where it's not syncope, it's three or two or two plus three because it's five eight, then on the first one, the result is. Exactly. Eh? So this contrast between the syncope and the five eight. Now. Just a moment. Okay. So, page number eight. Uh, when is when you arrive? Uh, okay, here. So, Sostenuto. The poco più lento, you mean? Exactly, bravo. Right before the bar before of poco più lento sostenuto, you did it. Then you played slower, bravo. But what I want to tell you here, uh, Matei, we should broken the guitar. Okay. <laughs> I mean, it's really, really, on my personal idea, the climax. So, like a scream, the guitar should scream. Whatever, uh, whatever. Huh? Really scream till. Subito piano and then crescendo, whatever. Uh, yeah, I have to tell you one more. I have to congrats with you once more because at the end of the piece, when the team, the main team, back you played even more with the space because after all the chaotic and the you know, <laughs> spazio does not exist anymore ritmo Remember, change color. Only space. So I hope it's clear my idea, but please, do you have any question? 
No, I think it was everything very clear. I mean, and so I agree. It was, it was full. Thank you very much. <laughs> yeah. Matei, um, I love this kind of music. I love Carlos' music. And we, you know, there is some kind of music which really needs the player. If we play Chacon by back, we should just have to put in sound what is there. There is other kind of music which really needs us in the way that we have to, to try to create as much as we can and to be with our emotions and our freedom inside of the school. That's the best. If you listen, Pavel Stedel, you know him, playing Carlos music, and especially when he played, for example, uh, the Jimi Hendrix, homage to Jimi Hendrix, listen to him. It's an incredible uh, amount of feelings and atmosphere. And then, if you play on that, on that way, this kind of music arrives really to everybody. And that's the, the, the magic of this music. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, Maitei. I wish you all the best. Greetings okay. to Hans Werner. And, uh, yeah. Have Thank you very much for the lesson. It was very, very helpful. Thanks. You are really welcome. Huh? Thank you. All my best, Matei. Thank you. Ciao. Ciao. Ciao.
Hi there. Thank you guys for staying with us during this live streaming event here. Um, my name is Brian Geary. For those who don't know me, I am the convention manager for the Guitar Foundation of America. Um, if you've been on the Zoom live Q&As, you've probably seen me lurking around in there. And if you've been at a convention before, you've probably seen me uh, running around or working with some volunteers. So um, I wanted to really quick uh, let you know how you can kind of roll with us when we are having some technical difficulties. So if our stream by chance happens to go down um, and you are viewing on YouTube, uh, what you can do is you can just refresh uh, the page and go to our homepage. And hopefully by the time you do that, our stream will be back up. And uh, if you go to, if you're viewing on Facebook, uh, hopefully you can just refresh the page and you'll be able to hop right back in with us. Uh, and thank you for bearing with us uh, as we uh, kind of tackle some of these uh, live stream hurdles every now and then. So um, we're very appreciative of you staying with us. So this is going to wrap up our first streaming block of day two. And I hope that you join us at 3 p.m. Pacific time um, for our streaming block two. We have some great lectures um, on the docket for you guys. So um, I wanted to let you know about our mystery performer for the day. So for those who do not know, um, we are doing an encore performance at the end of every streaming block, kind of as a commemoration and kind of, you know, just kind of facing the difficulties that we've all been having uh, with 2020. So we searched for a piece that we thought would really encapsulate this and we landed upon uh, Lagrima by Francisco Tarrega. And you can follow along with this uh, with the hashtag tears for 2020 and there's going to be some incredible artists. We've teased a little bit of that so far. Um, but we would also love to see on social media your version of Lagrima, Lagrima, my apologies. So without further ado, I'm here to reveal who are mystery performers for today. And it is Pavel Steidl. And I hope you enjoy. Hey, Cody. Cody, look there. There are our friends. You see, shall we play something for them? Hello, I'm Pavel Steidl. And me and my friend Cody, we would like to play for you a little piece which you probably know. So our best regards from Czech Republic, from Skrijek. 